I've only been out here for about a minute and a half and I already feel my skin drying out and mm -hmm. frying. Well, we have Dr. Dylan Alston here with Intermountain Riverton Hospital, a dermatologist, yes. to talk a little bit about what the sun does to our skin, but specifically sunscreen, sunblock. I was told one that you can't block the sun. Right, so there's a little bit of a difference between sunscreens and okay. sunblocks. Um, sunscreens, we've all been through a screening process before, and that indicates that something's getting through the skin. Okay. And so sunscreens do a good job of absorbing the UV rays on our skin, but sunblocks, however, completely block the, scu the sun's UV rays before they penetrate our skin. That's hard to get. Is that like 100 SPF or something like that? Um, actually, we can get sunblocks in all SPFs, and sunblocks typically have to do with the ingredients. Okay. And the ingredients that we want to look for are zinc oxide okay. and titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide and titanium, yep. will those be on like the highest on the mm -hmm. ingredient list? Yep, so those will be the active ingredients on your sunblock. Okay, and all, all brands do that or do some yes. not provide that safety? So most commonly there's going to be a mixture of some sunblock and sunscreen, mm -hmm. but the exclusive sunblocks will contain zinc or titanium. In the old days the zinc oxide was the stuff the lifeguards right. were right? Yes. Does it stay white or? Well, um, some of the manufacturers like Neutrogena and Elta MD and mm -hmm. Color Science have manufactured a more elegant sunblock. So I'm actually wearing a sunblock now. I don't look white and pasty. Right. Uh, but it does uh, provide better coverage. Okay. And if you don't have a complete umbrella or you're indoors, right. you need to have that to protect yep. your we skin. We recommend it at least on your head, neck, and face, and don't forget your ears. And we're especially susceptible here in Utah. We are. There's uh, Most people in Utah are fair complected, and we're not supposed to be living in uh, temperatures of 105 degrees in the summer, so it's best to, to protect your skin. And our altitude. And Doesn't your altitude, yeah. Worse? We're a little bit closer to the sun. Okay. So we can can protect ourselves. We can. From yep. skin cancers. We can. Okay. Yep. And if, if you haven't, just come in and see a dermatologist and mm -hmm. have yourself looked over to make sure there's nothing suspicious. Get those regular screenings. Yes. The good Regular kind. screenings, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much. You're Dr. welcome. Austin. Thank you.